Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is our going to be our very last story time of this year. I'll see you again in January after the holiday for new story times. And I have my little elf hat on today because we're going to do some Christmas songs and a Christmas story because Christmas is coming soon. I bet you everyone's getting excited, aren't they? We're going to start with a little song called The Bells on the Sleigh. What do you guys know about a sleigh? You know anyone that comes on a sleigh? Is it Santa Claus? I think it is. Pretty soon he'll be coming. The bells on the sleigh go ring, 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 ring. The bells on the sleigh go ring, ring, ring all through the sky the reindeer on the sleigh fly way up high way up high way up high the reindeer on the sleigh fly way up high all through the sky the snow on the sleigh falls gently down gently down gently down the snow on the sleigh falls gently down all through the sky. The driver on the sleigh says, ho, 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 ho. The driver on the sleigh says, ho, 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 Christmas is coming soon. It is. Now we're all going to be getting a little holiday before we know it. And the story I'm going to share to you today is, is one of my favorite. It's just a little board book, but it's called Just Right for Christmas. And it's written by Bertie Black and Rosalind Beardshaw. And I'd like to thank Candlewood Press for letting us share the story today. It was Christmas Eve and snow was falling as the king strolled around the market. What should he see but a huge roll of beautiful, bright red cloth? Ooh, he said, that cloth is so red and soft and Christmassy, it would be just right for a grand cloak for the princess. And so he bought it and took it back to the castle. In the castle, the king's sewing maid snipped and sewed and snipped and sewed, and by lunchtime, they had made a beautiful long cloak for the princess. The king was delighted. He wrapped it up in golden paper and silver ribbon. What shall we do with the scraps? One of the sewing maids asked. Oh, just bundle them up, put them outside the back door, said the king. There's the scraps. Jenny, the castle's kitchen maid, had finished work for the day. What should she see on her way home but a big bundle of beautiful bright red scraps? Ooh, she said, that cloth is so red and soft and Christmassy, it would be just right to make a jacket for my ma. When Jenny got home, she snipped and sewed and snipped and sewed, and by dinner time, she'd made a pretty red jacket for her ma. She was very happy, and she wrapped it up in red paper with a green ribbon. Then she bundled up the little scraps and put them outside the back door so her ma wouldn't see them. Bertie Badger trotted past Jenny's house. What should he see but a little bundle of beautiful bright red scraps. Ooh, he said, that cloth is so red and soft and Christmassy, it would be just right to make a hat for my pa. When Bertie got home, he snipped and sewed and snipped and sewed, and by the time the clock was striking six, he had made a nice red hat for his pa. He smiled as he wrapped it up in some brown paper and tied it with a string. Then he bundled up the tiny scraps and put them outside the back door. 
the scraps are getting smaller and smaller. Samuel Squirrel bounded past Birdie's house. Suddenly he stopped. What should he see but a tiny bundle of beautiful bright red scraps? Ooh, he said, that cloth is so red and soft and Christmassy, it will be just right to make a pair of gloves for my wife. When Samuel got home, he snipped and sewed and snipped and sewed, and by the time the moon was rising, he had made a beautiful pair of gloves for his wife. He wrapped them in a leaf and tied up the parcel with a piece of dried grass. It's just as well I've made her something to keep her hands warm, he said. This winter wind is so chilly. A gust of wind picked up the tiny scrap of red cloth that was left over and blew it out his window where it fluttered to the snowy ground. There isn't much left now, is there? It was nearly midnight when Millie Mouse plodded past Samuel's house. She was tired and cold and the snow was falling on her ears and whiskers. She had been looking for a nut to give to little Billy for Christmas, but she couldn't find one. As she passed the bottom of Samuel's tree, she saw something red sticking out of the snow. What could it be? It was the tiny scrap of cloth. Ooh, she said, that cloth is so soft and red and Christmassy, it would be just right to make a scarf for my Billy. Billy was asleep when Millie got home. She snipped and sewed and snipped and sewed, and by the time the candle had burned low, she had made a cozy scarf for Billy. She didn't have anything to wrap it in, but she folded it carefully and put it under her tiny sprig of a Christmas tree. On Christmas morning, the princess opened her huge gold present and Jenny's ma opened her big red present and Bertie's pa opened his small brown paper present and Samuel's wife unwrapped the leaf and Millie gave little Billy his scarf. Each present was so soft and red and Christmassy and felt just right. Just how Christmas should feel. And there's everybody. Oh, there's Samuel's wife with her red gloves and the princess with her beautiful cloak. Oh, and there's Jenny's ma with her red jacket and Bertie's pa with his red hat. Oh, who did we forget? I know, little Billy with his red scarf and everything was just right. I like that Christmas story. Now I've got a little Jingle Bell song. Does that remind you guys of Christmas? Maybe of Santa's sleigh. I like the sound of jingle bells. Jingle, jingle, little bell, I can ring my little bell. Ring it fast, ring it slow, ring it high, ring it low. Jingle, jingle, little bell, I can ring my little bell. Ring it fast, ring it slow, ring it high, ring it low. Our little jingle bells. Oh, now I've got another little song that I do every year. I'm sure you guys all know, but we have to do it, right? Are you ready? Where is little elf? Where is little elf? Here I am, here I am. Merry, merry Christmas.
Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 ho. Where is Mrs. Claus? Where is Mrs. Claus? Here I am, here I am. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 ho. Who's next? Where is Rudolph? Where is Rudolph? Here I am, here I am. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, look, his red shiny nose. Now, where is Santa? Where is Santa? Here I am, here I am. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, there he goes. He still has things to do. This week at the library, we have some Christmas activity bags for everyone. And I've got lots. So you need to come down and pick them up before we close for the holidays. And there's a few fun things to do inside there. So you have to come and check it out. All right, one more song, okay? Let's all do a little stomp. Let's all do a little stomp. Let's all do a little stomp and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little dancing. Let's all do a little dancing. Let's all do a little dancing and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little waving. Let's all do a little waving. Let's all do a little waving and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread Christmas cheer. See everyone. Merry Christmas. Have a good holiday and I'll see you next year.